Hi, my name is Karen Boniker, Painter Master, and I'd like to introduce you to a new brush pack called Floral. I'm going to take you through each one of the brushes and some of the ways that you can use them effectively in your painting process. The first brush is called Arrowhead. This brush is based upon a leaf shape and is a highly texturized kind of brush that you can use to add extra texture or expression to your paintings. The next brush is called Dracaena. And this brush is based upon a leaf shape. And so what I'm going to do here is sample some of the colors where I want, may want to add more leaves. And just pull out some leaf shapes here. Very feathery and soft edge. The next brush is called Buds. This brush um, you can also apply dab stencil to and work with your apply dab stencil paper and, or uh, you can use flow map or texture. So this is a fun brush to use. I'm going to take that off for the time being and this brush basically emulates the look of little rosebuds. And the best way to approach this brush is to work from the top and up and pull up with your brush stroke to create the look of little rosebuds. I'll sample some lighter colors here to add some highlights. And you'll also notice that I have the reset setting up a little higher and the opacity at 100%. Of course, this can be controlled based upon what you want to achieve with the brush. The next brush is called Cornflower and this brush emulates the look of the cornflower. Um, I'm going to choose a blue color here to work with and maybe something like that and the best way to work with this brush is to simply apply light pressure and the flowers just appear right in front of your eyes. You can apply um, color variability to this brush as well or you can base the brush upon gradients or color set, which is another nice effect. So I'm going to just put this brush in and add some cornflowers here and there. The next brush is called Daisies, and this brush is a great brush for just uh, painting in the look of daisies. Um, nice petal brush effect. So let's put a daisy right here. And you'll notice that I'm pulling out from the center for the best effect with this brush. The next brush is Lavender. And for that, we'll pick up a nice lavender shade here to use. And we'll put in some lavender. And again, just drag this brush and it creates that effect or that look of lavender with very little effort. <laughs> this brush does have some color variability built into it. The next brush is called Moss, and this brush I would use just to create, if I was doing a um, large flora like this, I would use it as a filler type of brush where I might want to show 
the look of a mossy effect. We'll use it sparingly here. The next brush is Roots, and you can see that I've painted a orchid into this painting. And um, a lot of times with orchids you have roots that are coming out from the orchid. And this brush gives you that nice effect of roots. Use different colors here to add a little variety. But again, visual texture is always important. The next brush is called Roses. And for this, we'll pick a nice bright red color. And we'll start our first rose up at the top here. And this is just a matter of going in a rather circular fashion to create your rose buds, your rose flowers. And maybe we'll choose a different red here. And put another rose right about here. You can bring the size of that brush uh, down a little bit further. Um, say, for example, if you wanted to add maybe some highlights. We'll do one more rose over here, maybe a little smaller. Uh, the next brush is called Textures. And this brush basically adds some visual texture where you might want it. Kind of the look of thrown paint splatter. The next brush is Thin. And this brush you can basically use for um, adding the stems of your flowers. High detail work if you need to bring in some detail. Even forming or adding highlights to your flowers. The next brush is Stamen, and I usually will use this for the daisies. And this is just a matter of small little brush stroke. And I'll zoom in a little bit on this so you can see this a little closer. And I'll use a darker value here. So top to bottom with this one usually is the best effect. And it creates a very short brush stroke. And often a nice one for using for the uh, center of your flowers. The next brush is Woody. And this brush I like to use for um, the stems of the roses. Nice dark color. And I'll tend to work with different brush sizes with this. This gives you a very um, highly textured brush effect where you might want to add little more texture in certain areas. It's nice for creating that look of in a floral arrangement you might have little sticks and um, wood elements that you might add to the arrangement. Uh, 
Um, it also is great for the emulating the look of the curly willow, which is often used in floral arrangements. The next brush is called Zinnia, and this is one of my favorite brushes in the pack. Um, it creates the Zinnia flower, and we'll place one right here. And again, just firm pressure, and the brush pretty much paints a Zinnia flower for you. Put one down here. Just vary your pressure from very soft and if you put firm pressure on it, you'll get a kind of a texture, uh, a squiggly texture that appears at the end of the brush stroke, which is fun. Let's maybe do one right here. The other alternative you have with this is to overlay texture and to do lots of different layers of zinnia. I like the dramatic look of adding a very dark color at the end and then coming back over it with a light color. It's a beautiful, fun brush to work with. Zinnia. The last brush is called the Java Fern. And this brush is another fun visual texture type of brush. Maybe we'll use it to add some leaf form and texture on the side here. I tend to like to pull it from the top and work down with it. This one is Java Fern. This is the new Corel Painter Floral Brush Pack. Enjoy!